In this video, we're going to solve a triangle. To solve a triangle means to find all the missing sides and all the missing angles. Looking at this triangle, we're told that there is a right angle, a side of 5, and an angle of 35 degrees. The first step I always take when solving a triangle is to make sure I know two angles and two sides. We will use one of our trig ratios, sine, cosine, or tangent, to make sure we get two angles and two sides. Notice we have two angles. We know the right angle is 90 and the 35 degree angle. We don't have two sides. That's where I'm going to start. We're missing a side, and we can pick either side to find first. It doesn't really matter. So let's find, uh, let's find the side at the bottom. I'm just going to call it A for now. So. From the 35, 5 would be called the opposite side. A, being between the 35 and the right angle, would be the adjacent side. And if I think about so, ka, toa, which one uses opposite and adjacent? The tangent does. So I'm going to take the tangent of my angle, the tangent of 35, is equal to the opposite over adjacent, or 5 over A. Well, we can quickly calculate the tangent of 35 on our calculator to be 0 0.700, so I'll just leave it as 0 0.7, equals 5 over A. Put the 0.7 over 1, so that we can solve a proportion as 0.7A, equals 5 times 1, or 5. Divide both sides by 0 0.7. If I can write it right, 5 divided by 0.7 is going to be 7.14. A is equal to 7.14. Now that we have two sides and two angles, the other two pieces we should be able to find quite quickly. The way we find a third angle, let's call this missing angle theta, the way we find a third angle is all, f is the two acute angles must add up to 90 degrees. In other words, theta, whoops, it's disappearing on me, theta and the 35 have to add up to 90. Theta plus 35 equals 90. Well, we'll just subtract 35 from both sides and find out that theta, the missing angle, is 55 degrees. 55 degrees. We can also find the last missing side, I'll call it C. If we know two sides, we can find the third side of a right triangle by simply using the Pythagorean theorem, which says that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c is always that side opposite the right angle. So a is 7.14 squared plus b is 5 squared equals c squared. And our calculator says 7.14 squared is 50.9796 plus 25 equals c squared. Adding them together, we get 75.9796 equals c squared. And taking the square root of both sides, we find that c, the last side, is 8.72 after rounding. And so now we have found the two missing sides and the one missing angle on this triangle. We get started solving a triangle by making sure we have two sides and two angles. Whichever one's missing, we will use trigonometry to find. We only had one side, so to get the second side, we want two sides and two angles, we had to use the tangent. Once we had two sides and two angles, we know that the missing angle has to add to 90, and we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing side. We have now solved the triangle.